just zoom in on me, starting with a good old fashioned zoom in. <laughs> the cold open. I've always thought running a marathon was ludicrous. Growing up, definitely not a runner. The idea of running a marathon was something that just like, I was still unconvinced of. Like I just didn't think it was possible. Even for athletes, it blew my mind, the idea of running that far. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> very formal, very good. What have you got there, Chloe? Big porridge. Big porridge, why have you got a big porridge? I'm running a marathon today. Running a marathon today, yeah. Mm. Should do a quick weather check. <laughs> Just so I'm gonna focus properly. It's looking quite rainy, basically. That is the... That's the main theme of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your porridge. Oh, it's like one of the bad porridges, one of the bad end porridges. Good starts the day, it's probably an omen. Mm. <laughs> Only characters to be built. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes. Matthew keeps saying this will be character building. <laughs> yeah, I think, I agree. Especially when you're out of the city, you haven't seen another... Oh yeah, should we take them through the route? It starts in the city. Yes. And... That's meant to be amazing, and it's also kind of downhill, so it's meant to be like extremely fun, extremely good vibes. Matthew's planning on a sprint start, <laughs> and then the next like 18 miles are just quite like basic coastal roads. On a good day, it's meant to be like you can see the sea, but <laughs> <It's not a laughs> <good day. laughs> so I think it's just going to be like rainy and apparently you don't get many supporters on these long stretches either because I mean Matty's Apart from me, it's, yeah. so I'm going to be cycling mm. to different points I bring you guys along with me <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited for that So yeah, I'm going to be out hopefully in some of the bleaker points mm. Support the team, I'll be cycling around with emergency provisions Oh yeah, that porridge looks quite horrible, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks like sick. <laughs> yeah, I had a bit Should of a little milk. porridge check. A bit of milk drama because Matthew is offering his milks, but not with loads of confidence that they wouldn't be troublesome. I, th I don't think you can blame Matthew for that I'm blaming porridge. Matthew. The, the normal milk was... Yeah. Um, okay, see you in a bit. Once that's done, we'll do a little transition. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like pins being here while I'm running. Is that unnecessarily prangy? Um, no, I think there's a very strong chance of it stabbing up. Yeah, yeah. Leads to death, repeated stabs from the pin. You don't have yourself to blame for not pinning it properly. Don't you know, that's part of the challenge of a marathon. The pin stabbing. This was good vlog content, you said. It's boring. You know, maybe we <laughs> don't have to vlog the whole thing. Oh. Okay. Woo! It's, oh, a spo it's, it's supposed to be wonky. Yeah, it's, quite, <laughs> uh, it's not too wonky. It's definitely wonky, but not wonky enough for me to read it. I'll tell you that for free. Yeah, you can tell me how much. Okay. Bloop. Oh, that's nice. Bloop. Are we concerned about a level of shite brewage? <laughs> <laughs> Final bits of prep. <laughs> yeah. Hearty slap. Yeah. Got my fancy socks that have allocated right and left socks. That's when you know it's Key serious. to success, eh? Just about 8.26. Hello. We're going to be leaving soon for the start line. Pink shoes. Yeah. Go faster. I'm quite pleased with my outfit. Yes. Sweaty Betty sponsorship. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, we'll see you at the start line. <laughs> Can't wait. What's the weather saying then? It's, it's, it's biblical, I'd say. It's so <laughs> bad. Um, so yeah, I got some bin bags, emergency bin bags. As we can see waterproofing. A little bit. Lots of people doing it though, not just Chloe. Not just Chloe being weird. See you on the course. I was honestly feeling quite anxious before I did my marathon. In the week leading up to the race, 
and you know even like right at the start of the race I was struggling with quite a negative mindset uh, it wasn't so much negative like self-talk and like I can't do this it was more of a general I just couldn't believe I was gonna actually do it um, I was just struggling with the manifestation aspect and the kind of visualizing yourself crossing the finish line. With marathon programs for beginners, uh, you don't tend to run the distance before you do the race. The furthest I'd run before the marathon distance was 32 kilometers. When I did run that 32 kilometers, it did not feel good. So that morning, the morning of the race, uh, I was pretty nervous. I occasionally would have a thought that was like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Um, but I'm a very pessimistic person. So I'm used to taking those negative thoughts that I have with a bit of a pinch of salt and kind of being like, let's just ignore you. Let's just ignore you and, and see what happens. Because of the pouring rain and because you have to get to your pen like earlier still, it meant that I had been standing in torrential rain. Um, for honestly like 40 minutes total before I even started the race. My feet were completely soaked through. Let's go Chloe! Woo! By the time I got to the half marathon mark, uh, I think something about it being half the distance, all I could think, like I could not get this thought out of my brain, all I could think was why am I doing this? Like, why am I not just running a half marathon? Um, I could not believe that I still had like that distance again to cover. Go on, Chloe! That's not my name. <laughs> this probably was a big like psychological thing, uh, but quite quickly things turned around and when I got to 30, 32 kilometers, I think for me the end was in sight and my pace picked up and I was just having having a good time again. I have to say, if you know the Edinburgh Marathon course, you'll know that it's pretty bleak because it's along a coastal road but you can't really see the sea for most of it and it's also an out and back. So from the what point? From the 26 to 28k point, you are seeing people run back um, past. Go on, Chloe! I don't know. I the final sprint was I don't know. Maybe I should, the final plod, the final faster than the preceding kilometers plod. Um, was a really fun experience. I think we were all just happy to be alive <laughs> at that point. Uh, so yeah, crossed the finish line, um, was pretty tired. I got given a little snack uh, and my medal. Here we are. We got it. At the finish. Got the medal. Oh, that's funny, it's like a generic and then a little 26.2. Oh. Yeah. 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 Long runs always give me like severe empty brain. So. Yeah. I don't have many thoughts. It was actually really um, surreal because there are points where you just get like intense surges of emotion. Yeah. That actually like messed with your breathing. It was kind of interesting. Sorry. So I got that a bit. Um, I changed my mind, can I get way, a photo? Way too fast. Oh, you've noticed this. So I made a friend. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she was like, it was, it was cute, but a bit frustrating because she clearly was like, kind of going to go faster. Mm. And then I was like, oh, I need to slow down. She's like, no, it's okay, I'll wait. And we just like did that for the first 17k. And then obviously she goes off. And then, so the middle, I'd say the middle kilometers were like the most bleak. I don't know whether that was half Mara and 30. I don't know whether that's because the course was the most bleak at those points. Yes. Or whether yes. it's because... I'm sure the weather was nicest though. Yeah, I know. Well, I don't really care about the weather. Like the, the rain, because obviously I was running long enough to get the second blast of rain. Yeah, um, that was very welcome. Do you want a cold water? Yeah. And we can do proper debrief after. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry, I stopped recording. <laughs> Is it playing? Yes. 
<laughs> um, the paint I star. actually feel like the nutrition I got really right. I didn't wee for the entire duration, yeah. which mm. I don't think was good for me. But I like couldn't. It was clear my body was like. Yeah. And my hip really hurt though. So like at the half marathon, it's a hip that was a bit stiff these past few weeks. Yeah. And it just like was really stiff. Um, but so I think in, on, in conclusion, I actually well, I think amazing for a first marathon. If you do say so yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I also think you did very well. Like, I think that was really sensible. Me. Support crew for the day. And I podded, Patty. Yeah. Small patches of walking. Yeah. But... You weren't the only one. Yeah. Oh, oh, I had beef with someone. Okay, ready? Ready for this story, marathon beef on the course. And this woman, like, overtook me <laughs> at about 22 miles um, when I was having, like, a walking patch because it helped to loosen up the hip to do, like, a little patch. And she overtook me and was like, tortoise in the hair. <laughs> and I, like, took quite a few seconds to understand what she was saying. That's really horrid. Yeah. Did you get her? And then, yeah, so I, <laughs> I then I'm just like, I'm going to rise above it. Like, I'm not going to let that get to me, especially, like, 22 miles was a bit dangerous to start getting. Yes. And then at about 24 miles, I, like, see her again. And kind of, we have, like, a back and forth, back and forth. And then, honestly, just before 26, like, the last 800 metres, I she then then like gets up to catches up to me again at the same time as like because obviously those were really fun the crowd was really yeah, yeah. fun at those parts at the same time as people just being really enthusiastic and I just thought like you know what and then I sped up like loads and sustained it for the last you ditched her almost kilometer Com ditched her left her in my dust <laughs> she, she was like 60 <laughs> but that comment she had it coming <laughs> yeah yeah outrageous I should have said tortoise and hair I should have said it nah she knows yeah. oh she knows Exactly. All right. Exactly. Yes. Um, so, yeah. To the victor, to the spoils. Story. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Actually, we can do replays. Cut. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>